Hi, and welcome to the latest video from uh, Kuo Motorsport. I'm James Hill, and today in our new series, I'm going to run you through building a website with Squarespace. We are currently building a new website to showcase our highly efficient electric vehicles, and Squarespace is a site that I've been working with, and I think it's a great development tool. So I'm going to show you in this next series how to uh, set up your website, go through the setting up process with the trial version, uh, and that will be part one. After that, in the following parts, we're going to go through adding content and making your website interactive, so linking Twitter, Facebook pages, uh, MailChimp as well, and then we'll cover some more features as well. So if you're interested more in that, please have a look at our other videos, which will be coming out soon. But for now, I'm going to show you all of the different templates on Squarespace and how to get started with the free trial. So we're on the Squarespace website. And to get started with the trial, click on Get Started. OK, so this prompts a new page with three distinct segments. Get a domain is all about domain name registration. So this up here is your domain, your URL, and you actually have to purchase one of those for a year. So Squarespace provides a service where you can buy the domain name from them, provided it's not used by something else. So for instance, we're going to use Coolant Motorsport. And with Kulo Motorsport, it should come up saying that KuloMotorsport.com is unavailable, as I've already registered that domain, so you'll see that it says unavailable here. But it gives you a whole option of different uh, domain names with distinct endings as well. So that's the pricing. And if you don't already have a domain name, uh, purchasing it through Squarespace is really advisable because then you can link it very easily with your website. So that's domain name registration. You just type what you want your domain name to be up the top, and then it will come up and tell you what the price is. We'll be focusing more on uh, websites, however, and there's an e-commerce uh, area as well. So that's for online stores. That's something that we may cover later in this series, uh, but for now we'll be looking at websites, specifically fully fledged websites, such as all of these templated websites you see below. So these are just a few of the web website templates, and you can filter according to your needs. So whether it's for a business, a portfolio of work, uh, if you're into blogging, uh, if you're a musician, those ones obviously focus a lot more on video content, uh, web restaurants, weddings, and for personal use. So these start at $12 a month. If you have an educational domain, uh, if you're at university, uh, a lot of universities are registered with Squarespace and they're eligible for a 50% discount. So that's $12 per month or with the cover page here this is just a simple one page website so great for um, putting your resume up on um, creating a one page resume or finding uh, expressions of interest from people so these are some examples it doesn't allow you to link it with different pages 
and it's much harder to add uh, additional content on there. But for a simple website that you just want to send people to, um, this is really the one for you. And that starts from only $5 per month. So pretty cheap for a website and very easy to edit. We're looking at the fully fledged websites, however. So going to go in here and choose template. I'm going to start with uh, Bedford here. And before we start with the template, one of the key things that I think is really great about Squarespace is this cross-platform uh, integration that they do. So it works just as well on an iPad uh, or an iPhone as it does on a larger scale computer. Turning your phone sideways reformats the screen and you don't lose any of that really nice formatting. So it's very useful and you can view it in different ways as you're building your site and I'll show you that in the next episode. Now Squarespace also provide a whole lot of example websites so you can look at existing customers and their websites as an example. We'll go ahead and start with Bedford. So this is where they'll ask for some details. And you can sign up and create the site. Now this free trial uh, gives you two weeks. Two weeks to play around with the template, um, determine what you like and what you don't, and then you can continue using Squarespace by paying their subscription fee. Alright, so that's how simple it is to actually make your trial account. The first thing that Squarespace does is actually prompt you with some optional questions and this helps them collect metadata for themselves and determine what the use is for your site so that you, they can better tailor it towards your needs. So I'd say an electric uh, motorsports team. Motorsport is pretty uh, narrow, so I've just put sports team in there. Site goals. So you might have different purposes for your site, and it's very important to know exactly what your purpose is before you start building your site. Are you doing it to just get your content out there, or are you looking to actually... Uh, sell products and services online or put up a resume and try and get hired. In our case, we're really looking to showcase um, our vehicles and show off our electric drivetrains as well. And with that, We've created a trial version of Squarespace in just under 10 minutes. And this is what it looks like at the moment. Now, as I said, uh, it's got that cross-platform -plat integration across all of the different devices. So while you've got your site, you'll always have this little bar at the top. Just click on that and you can have a look at what your site will look like on an iPad. on a phone, and you see how it automatically refreshes and shows you this stuff instantaneously.
you've got your logo up there and you can already see as I move around that we're getting these little prompts here to edit the navigation and the site title and editing content is what we're going to be looking at in the next episode so we hope that this is giving you a bit of a heads up as to how to create a trial version of Squarespace and get onto the site. Uh, join us in the next episode to find out how to restructure your pages, um, change all of the general settings and start to add some content. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.